Hi everyone, welcome to our show. I'm your host, Sidion, and I'm partnering with Volkswagen and the Taos SUV to explore the city of angels, Los Angeles. This city can be a very fast-paced city with a lot of energy. I love it, but sometimes an environment like this can be intense. That's why it's important to prioritize taking time for self-care. I can't wait to see what today brings. Let's go. Hello chat, welcome back. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. As you can see, I have you in my hand early today. And also, as you can see, I'm up here all alone. Our guest for today was feeling under the weather. So it's just me and you. On the bright side, we have the opportunity to hang out, chat, and eventually I will be inviting in our guide for yoga and meditation. His name is Chad, and I'm really excited to introduce you guys to him in a little bit. But for now, we have the opportunity to chat, hang out, be on set in this beautiful location, as you can see behind me. It's absolutely gorgeous today. I wanna to say another huge thank you to Volkswagen and the Taos SUV for making this happen. We could not be here having these amazing streams on these amazing sets without them. So thank you so much to Volkswagen. It's good to see you guys. Hello, welcome in car, car. Yes, as you can see, the Taos SUV is in the back. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> another stream with them. So I'm really happy to be here. Today's theme is all things relax and recharge, which I talk about as often as possible as I can on stream because I think it's really important. Um, as you guys know, I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break coming up uh, for the holidays, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and I wanna encourage you guys to find ways to relax and recharge over the holidays as well. So it is good to see you guys, welcome in. As you can see, I'm uh, super bundled up because it's another incredibly chilly day in LA. I think that this week compared to last week's streams where we had you know, beautiful views, the sun was out, it was all warm and toasty, we were making lattes. And then one week later, last show, it's like torrential downpour. And today I'm covered in a blanket and gloves and like a puffy jacket. So, you know, you never know what you're gonna get here. And I, uh, I really, really enjoy that. Um, rest and taking breaks is so good. It's so good and it's so important. And I think that it can be hard to find time to do those kind of things but there are things that you need to make time for. So I'm really excited to be able to be here. And even though I am streaming, I'm still gonna have the opportunity to relax and recharge with Chad, who's gonna walk us through some meditation and some yoga, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Do you guys have any experience with yoga or meditation? Myself, personally, I have done some yoga. Uh, I've done like a couple of classes. I've done some hot yoga. Hot yoga was really fun, but I'm from Seattle. So <laughs> when I would do hot yoga, I would go outside to like 30 to 40 degree weather, like degrees Fahrenheit, and I would come from like just sweating all over the place. For anybody who's done hot yoga, you know that like you are drenched by the end of it. So I would go outside and I'm like still hot and sweaty into like 30 degree weather. And eventually I was like, I can't do this anymore. But I will say that hot yoga was like one of my best experiences in terms of exercise. It's like very different than what I do normally. Um, and it felt like I was relaxing and exercising at the same time. It sounds like a lot of you guys, oh, yes to both. I love vinyasa flow. Okay, I don't know what vinyasa flow is, so if anybody wants to, to answer that, or maybe when we have Chad come on, I can ask him a little bit about it as well. Is there room temperature yoga? Yes, I would say that a lot of the time, like there's hot yoga, and I'm not the, I'm not the yoga guide or the yoga expert, so maybe the specific questions we say for our new friend Chad, but from what I know, I'm pretty sure you can do yoga in all temperatures, but hot yoga is just like one of the special ones that you can do, which is, quite a different exercise than the like room temperature yoga classes that I've taken in the past. So it's been really nice. It's been really, really nice. Um, I love meditation, but yoga is very new to me. So actually for me, I've done yoga a few times and meditation is gonna be really new. I talked about this a little bit on our last stream, um, but I have always sort of had issues meditating because I can find it really hard to focus. So I definitely want to ask Chad questions about that and how you find ways to focus while you're meditating uh, because that has always been a really, really big struggle for me. So I'm looking forward to being able to ask about that. Oh, and it looks like there's a poll at the top of chat and a lot of you guys have meditated before. 65% said yes, which is really, really cool. Um, I want to encourage you guys today for today's stream, if you are interested and if you have a yoga mat at home, or even if you don't, you have a comfy pillow or you wanna sit on your floor, you could join us in the exercises. 
Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. And then you guys can tell me about your experience afterwards. Um, someone says yoga is great, meditation is hard to do. Yeah, I, I have a feeling like in the past, I've kind of struggled with meditation. So I'm really, really looking forward to having like, it's gonna be one-on-one -on -one experience with me and our guide Chad and you and our guide Chad. So it will be a really good opportunity to be able to ask those questions and figure out how to do it well or right. And again, this stream, you guys will have the opportunity to vote on some things. So these ones are gonna be pretty fun, in my opinion. <laughs> You're gonna to get to choose some yoga poses for us. And uh, if you don't know this about me, my balance is maybe not the best. So <laughs> some of these could be pretty fun. They could be pretty funny. I am, I am looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are kind and give me one that I'll be able to do. But knowing you guys, I'm assuming it won't be. <laughs> I'm assuming I might struggle a little bit. I'm as flexible as a door. Okay, so not very flexible. So maybe not gonna join in without proper supervision. You know what, that's fair enough. I think an important note in terms of yoga and meditation and just physical activity in general is to always do what your body allows. And I'm sure Chad will touch on that as well, just being careful with yourself and in the space. And I had talked a little bit about this in the past and even on set with the people that are here, but I have like a really old, like old, old back injury that I typically try and modify things in terms of physical exercise to make sure that I'm really careful. But in terms of yoga, things have been good for me so far. I'm pretty good about making sure that I stretch so that it doesn't hurt so bad. Yes, yeah, safety first. Safety is always first. I completely agree. Have you ever done yoga before? Yes, I have. I've taken some yoga classes and some hot yoga classes. And hot yoga was one of like my favorite experiences for a long time. I talked about this a little bit earlier, but uh, it was it was really, really enjoyable until I would go outside after hot yoga in like the cold Pacific Northwest. And then it was, uh, it was a little rough. So it changed things for me. <laughs> um, being out in chilly weather and all bundled up is the best. Yeah, I actually am, I am, I'm quite comfy. I feel pretty good. So today, if you're just coming into the stream, welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sid or Sidion. I'm a variety streamer and I'm here with Volkswagen and the Taos SUV. And we are gonna be talking about all things relaxing and recharging, which is super important to me and I hope is super important to you because it's just an important theme to talk about. So we're gonna have a special guest on later who's gonna teach us about yoga and meditation. Uh, they are gonna be our guide for today and I'd like to encourage you to join along if you'd like. As you can see, we have these lovely yoga mats set out and we've got these little poofs to sit on for our meditation. It should be a lot of fun and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, one in chat says, I had a back injury too, so stretching and conditioning was so good. Yes, I completely agree. I think that, um, so I used to play basketball and that's how I got all of my injuries. Um, sports injuries can be really rough and it's nice as I'm like getting older to transition from those kind of high impact sports into something that is nice for my body in terms of like stretching and I'm really excited to try yoga because it's gonna be a little bit more low impact but I'm still exercising and I'm gonna feel really good afterwards. And I mentioned earlier, but I'm gonna be taking a bit of a break from streaming just to relax and recharge, which I'm very excited about. And I think that this, like today's stream is gonna be such a nice segue into that. Like I'm going to be focused on all of these things. We're gonna have some mantras that we're gonna, you know, say out loud and work through together. And it's going to sort of lead me into this calming space as I go towards my break. So I think it's gonna be a lot of, a lot of fun. Thoughts? of releasing lower back pain? I have no idea, but maybe that's something that we could ask Chad about. <laughs> um, there, oh, I'm sitting in the director's chair. Yeah, I look like a fancy director, huh? I, last time I sat in a director's chair, I totally like knocked the bottom of this off. But yeah, it's just like, I'm staying comfy and you know, we'll move on to the poofs and everything afterwards. But for now, I just get to, I get to look like the big director on set. It feels kind of good. <laughs> it feels kind of good. Be comfy, yeah, having sports injuries can be really rough. So I think that, you know, yoga is a really good option in terms of staying healthy and exercising and things like that. And I know Chad will probably have a lot to say on it as well. So I'm really looking forward to having him come on. Massages kind of make me nervous. You know what? <laughs> I have done some massages and I've done some really great ones that feel awesome and relaxing. And I've done like sports massages as well. and. I don't know if you guys have had opportunities to do either or, but they're very different experiences. So one time I traveled to Bali and I had like 
a massage where I got to sit in a bath with flowers and then afterwards it was like someone who was really gentle and it felt great and it was relaxing. And then when I was younger and still playing basketball, I would do sports massages and that stuff felt like you were getting pummeled by a jackhammer. It was not a ton of fun. <laughs> Oh, so the poll is saying that most of you guys have never meditated. So we're kind of going to be in the same boat then. We'll be learning meditation to get it today together, which I'm really excited for. Um, I'm, I'm hoping, hopefully, you guys will join us in this and uh, you'll get the opportunity to try it out today, which is a special experience that I would not have had without Volkswagen. And maybe it's something that you guys will get to try for the first time as well. So I encourage you to join along. I think it will be awesome. As a nurse, I'm always watching my back when helping patients. I always forget to put the bed up before helping. Yes, I totally understand what you're talking about. When I was a nursing assistant and like going through nursing school, it, uh, it definitely it was something that was on my mind all the time because I had a prior back injury and it's really, really important. So I'm glad that you're paying attention. Any type of job that is like really physical, physically demanding, it's so important to pay attention to those kind of things or like, if you like lifting, like I like lifting weights now, it's really important to pay attention to your back and just stretching. And I think yoga is really gonna help all of us, okay? I truly, I believe in this right now. What is one aspect of yoga that you think people in general are not understanding or are underestimating? I feel like, this is gonna be a good question for Chad. I actually wanna ask it again, but for me, what I would say maybe is like a common misconception is like everybody thinks yoga is like super, super easy. And while you can do easy yoga classes or like more beginner friendly, there is like really intermediate or expert level stuff too. So oddly enough, I may not do yoga, but I watch yoga um, like short like videos a lot or <laughs> I'll watch like videos of people doing yoga or I have a friend who's really into yoga and she posts about it every day on like her social media. So I get to see her doing it and I'm watching it and I'm like, that is something that I could not do right now, you know? There are some poses that I might be able to just like pick up and do for the first time, but the stuff that she's into is super extreme, which is really amazing. Um, someone is saying, can you touch the car behind you? I can take you back there. We could take a better look at it. What do you think about that? That'll give me an opportunity to show you the car and also the beautiful set that we have. So you guys want to come on back with me? We have the Taos SUV and the gorgeous cornflower blue color, which we've been talking about recently. I love it. And against the contrasted like green, this looks absolutely amazing. So we have the koi pond in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's gorgeous. We're at this beautiful garden. I didn't even know something like this existed in LA. So it's really nice to be out here. We've got the beautiful Taos and the scenery could not be better. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm gonna come back up. I'm glad you guys got to see that though, because when I came here this morning, I could not take my eyes off of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a seat in my fancy director's chair. It's so pretty, isn't it so pretty? <laughs> Chat's saying, oh my gosh, she has legs. I know when I stream at my desk, you hardly ever get to see them, but I do, I do. <laughs> Legit thought it was a green screen, right? That's how perfect the background is, that it looks like a green screen, but it's not. We are live on location right now. That's why I'm super bundled up. As you can see, <laughs> is it cold outside? Yes, I think it's something like 40, maybe like low 50s right now. And while I am from Seattle where it is cold all the time and currently cold, I have since acclimated to the LA weather. So <laughs> 40 to 50 degrees for me now includes a blanket and gloves and a puffy jacket, which I wouldn't say is, is normal for me. <laughs> The house behind you is so cool. I've lived there forever. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, the whole location is beautiful. It's been really nice. It's like quiet. There's wildlife squirrels all over the place. That's been fun to see too. So it's, it's really, really nice out here. <clears throat> okay, guys, this is going to get exciting. We are going to be bringing on our guide, Chad. So let's welcome him in. Everybody say hello. Welcome in, Chad. Hello, Zed. Hello, hello. It's so nice to have you on. Hi, chat. Great thank to you, be thank here. Thank you. I'm going to set down my blankie oh. so it's out of the How way doing, and I can chat with you guys. 
Oh, there we go. Chad, do you mind introducing yourself to Chad? Of course. Again, hello, Chad. I'm so happy to be here. This is gorgeous. And Sid, whoever picked it out, great location. Yes. Uh, my name is Chad, as you've said. I am originally from Portland, Oregon, so go Pacific Northwest. Ooh. I moved to LA about eight years ago, and my yoga journey started about three and a half years ago. I am also a filmmaker, so that's my one of my main passions as well. But I just love what yoga has done for me and my body, my mind, my breath. And it's just kind of made me become a little closer with myself, a little more love for myself, which is one of the main goals of yoga is self-love. Oh, and I that's that. what we're gonna yeah, get into a little bit in our meditation as well. But generally, yeah, I'm I'm just a pretty chill person and I'm just happy to have this opportunity to be here with you. Yeah, we're so happy to have you here. I love that you described yourself as a pretty chill person because I feel <laughs> like you have to be a pretty chill person to like really- To embrace yeah, it. Yeah, to like get into this kind of stuff. So chat, if you guys want, I will be holding you. So you have the opportunity to ask him any questions that you have or me, of course. Um, and Chad, you're wearing a mask today just because we want to keep it safe, you know, variants and everything out there like that. We're just taking extra caution. 100%. And so we're gonna, he's gonna do some yoga and a mask today, but hopefully you guys can still hear him okay and we're yeah. able to get through everything. <laughs> Say so, I'll speak up if not. <laughs> yeah, so you said that you've been here in LA for quite some time, but you're from the Pacific Northwest. So we both are, which is really exciting. How are you dealing with today's cold? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm acclimated. I could take this off, but I really enjoy this jacket as well. So uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it does take, as you mentioned, a couple of days just to kind of get used to that LA cold. Yes. And then when we do go back to Portland or Seattle, it's it's a new cold again. Yes, which it it's different. It does. Days. <laughs> Someone in chat is wondering, what is one aspect of yoga that you think men in general are not understanding or underestimating? Um, I mean, just balance in general and flexibility. I mm. think uh, a lot of, I, it is a lot of men are very much uh, adverse to yoga and they also think it's a women's sport. And that's 100% mm. not true because it's just, it's about your body and your practice. And yeah. so, and that's one thing that it, I had to learn as well when I first started taking yoga, what, t doing yoga, was leaving my ego at the door and leaving it and taking it, nothing on the mat, just you, your body, your breath. So the first, I don't know, three, four months of my practice, I was very much, very, very new and very unflexible. And I just learned that day by day, practice after practice, I, it, you just got better and you yeah. just saw like a millimeter of, of growth each time, but that's that's what matters. Yeah, that's exciting. So would you say you practice every day now? Uh, not now, uh, when I first started, yes. And then, but as I become a teacher, it's interesting, it's not just myself, but a lot of teachers as well, their practice becomes more about teaching. Mm -hmm. And then it is, it's an additional challenge to have to stay in your own practice. So yes, I do. I would say not like an hour long practice every day. I yeah. definitely do in the morning, I get up. And that's the thing about yoga as well is yoga can be doing a forward fold for five breaths. And that's like, you're still doing something for your body, for yeah. your bread, for your breath. And so yeah, I try to do something when I wake up, a little bit of breath work before I go to bed, just something to remain present. And especially when I'm feeling a little anxious, I am a very anxiety ridden person every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And so yoga has definitely helped with that as well. So is meditation. And that's just, yeah, two minutes out of the day, an hour out of the day. I try to do it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And I feel like it's so easy to make excuses like, okay, here's an excuse that I would make. It's like, oh, I, str mm -hmm. you know, I'm streaming right now. I can't just like get up and do this. But two minutes, we take two minute breaks all the time. Yeah. It would be so easy for me to get up in the middle, you know, I'm queuing for a second game. I get up and I do breaths or stretch yeah. or whatever it is. And, and just then roll like, out your ankle in your chair too. Yeah, <laughs> that's so easy. I love that. That's something that I think we could probably all do better. I know I make excuses for it all the <laughs> oh, time. <mighty> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's easy too, but this is something that could totally be doable. So I'm also a little bit curious. You mentioned filmmaking, mm -hmm. and I, I want to know a little bit more about that. I'm sure chat does as well. Yeah, totally. Um, so I grew up in front of a TV. I grew up loving scary movies, and I loved watching animated movies. And so I love combining those elements. I spooking people. So I always I have a twin brother. We used to scare our mom all the time. Like <laughs> we would hide in the shower or whatever, jump out at her. And so I just love getting that effect of the exhilaration that people get from being in on the edge of your seat. And but then the element of animated movies, I love just the, the familial element, the element of heart and just trying to combine those stories. So that's the stories I like to tell. And I moved to LA with my twin brother eight years ago. We have just gotten jobs in the industries, climbed the ladder. And then this past year and a half, we've dedicated to filming. And so we've mm. made a bucket list of short films and are compiling those all and to basically create our reel to advance further in the industry. How cool. Yeah. That's fun that you like mentioned you like scaring people, but at the same time, you're like a chill dude who does exactly. yoga. Exactly. Like, <laughs> you're a multifaceted person and I love that. We got two ends, we got two yeah. sides of the brain. <laughs> Mason, could we get some uh, chill meditation music going on? 
That would be pretty cool. I think it's similar to what we did earlier on the stream when we were starting. I saw a chat like prior to to me getting on talking, they were like, this music is really cool. Nice. So here it is back for you guys. It is nice, isn't it? <laughs> so one thing that I mentioned to chat earlier is that I've had struggles meditating in the past mm. because I cannot stay focused. Do you have any tips for that? Yeah, so I mean, I 100% too, like the first few months of my practice, like when I was practicing, I again, f had struggled staying yeah. focused and it's like Shavasana as the resting pose at the end of a class. And mm. the goal is yes, just lie still and be with you, be with your breath. But yeah, you struggle, you, your mind wanders. And so one tip is if your mind happens to wander to an anxiety of yesterday or a worry mm. about tomorrow, acknowledge it. And then imagine it's on a bicycle and it's just floating on by, so you don't have to linger on that. Another thing too, Two is your breath. Um, it's the breath is the most important thing just in life. We don't recognize we're breathing 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you all took a big breath because you're like, oh, it's yeah, right. Now we're like hyper aware. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so just always being either visualizing the breath as it goes in your body or just listening to your breath as well. And so that's just, if you can just stay focused on that, even if it's for a minute and then you get unfocused, then coming back to it, but then you'll learn practice by practice that you'll be able to stay a little longer in that. And yeah, so in your meditation practice, if you can only last for five minutes, totally chill. Yeah. Um, but because tomorrow, if you try it again, or next week, if you try it again, you'll get a little better, you'll get a little stronger. Love that. Okay. Mm. So chat, we're going to talk about mantras now, and I have my little card. So this is going to be one of the things that you'll have the opportunity to vote on. Do you mind just telling, while I'm grabbing my cards, yeah. what a mantra is? Yeah, I so need to know a too. mantra, a positive affirmation, it's just a word or a phrase that you would repeat to yourself. There's, and so uh, Sanskrit is the Indian Hindu language that, uh, which we will not be saying those today. They are, that's where it originated in East Asia. Um, but these positive affirmations, just something that will, you'd say to yourself to encourage yourself. And yeah, so. Yeah. So we have a couple for you that you can vote on which one you'd like me to say while I am meditating. I think, are you saying them with me? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, cool. So <laughs> you'd like us to say while we're meditating. So A, we have I am worthy. B, we have I am loved. C, we have I am poggers. This one's for you, chat. D is I am goaded. And E is I am top fragging, which I mean, if you watch me, you know I do all the time. I, I don't, I don't at all. But you know what? That's why I'm making it my mantra so that there I start, goes. okay? <laughs> so that I start. And then Chad, I'm curious, and maybe Chad is too, do you have any experience gaming? Um, I used to game a lot when I was younger, high school, college age, and now that I've become just busier in my career life, uh, not as much, but my twin brother, he does still game. Hmm. And my old roommate gamed all the time. Yeah. So I became more of a watcher, Twitch, Awesome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I, I, I love the gaming world and I love the evolution of games to movies too. So mm. I'm just, I'm very much, if video game adaptations are in my brain, in my life. Um, but yeah, so definitely, yes, some experience. Not a, not a diehard gamer, but I love yeah. the gaming world. Well, what a fun crossover then for you to be able to come and do this on Twitch. 100%. I'm so, yeah, so fortunate. I love all y'all. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so chat, you guys have chosen I am poggers. And by that, Jeez. I am not surprised <laughs> at all. So that's what that's will be our mantra. Awesome. Um, and I would like to remind you guys and encourage you guys, if you'd like to join us along in meditating, it would be our pleasure. It would be wonderful. We can learn together. So, you know, he's our guide, but I am very, very new. And if you're in chat and you're like, well, I'm new and I'm nervous, I got you guys. I'm I'm new and kind of nervous too, actually. <laughs> so yeah, should we get into it? Let's do it. Okay. And it's 100% okay to be nervous. Okay. And the best thing is you might be alone in your room right now, which is just, it's just you and your brain. So just try to wash those nerves away. Okay. But for now, let's just find a comfortable seat. All right. Uh, chat you can be seated you can be lying down you can be against a wall just wherever you feel most comfortable that's the most important part about meditation is just being comfortable snuggling up with a blanket yep. holding a stuffed <laughs> animal just finding something that is allowing you to be just you you know um, so for here we can just kind of remove the flesh from underneath the bum roll our shoulders back a couple of times and as always, we just like to kind of close the eyes because we go internal here. We try to stay with the breath. We try to just stay amongst ourselves and kind of just go within. So if you'd like to close your eyes, Sid, and first just as we get into our breath, I just first want you all to acknowledge where you are, acknowledge the space around you, any sounds you might hear. Maybe there's the wind blowing against you or if you have music or feeling the blanket against your, your legs or your shoulders and just taking a couple of moments to acknowledge that as we start to deepen the breath. Breathing in through the nose, we feel our lungs expand. And just starting to take a couple of deep sighs out the mouth. We'll let the day go. 
again, with yoga, with meditation, it's about being present in the moment. It's again, not worrying about the past, not worrying about the future. One breath at a time as we get into yoga, one posture at a time. Taking one more deep inhale through the nose and a sigh out the mouth. Now a great breathing exercise I'd like to start us with, it's called box breathing. This is a four part breath. It's a great way to calm anxiety as I am a very anxious person. So I'll count us through it. So we're just gonna inhale for four counts. So go ahead and take a deep clearing breath first before we start, just inhale, exhale. And here we go. So we're gonna inhale for four counts. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath at the top for one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold at the bottom for one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, Four. One more round on your own as I kind of explain what, how important this is. Navy SEALs use this when they're about to go on a mission or they're just really stressed. Whenever you are stressed out and you just, even before bed, before you wake up, just something very important that you can do, very easy as well. If you do have the lung capacity, you can expand that to five counts, you can expand that to six. You can go for two minutes, for five minutes, for 10 minutes, just however long you need to feel that breath in. And so once we finish that round, just go ahead and start breathing normally. We're just gonna continue to relax, continue to deepen. And I'm just gonna start with the top of the head as we do a body scan all the way down. And I encourage you to follow along with me as I discuss each body part, starting with the crown of the head, the very top of the head. You can send your thoughts to that place. You can imagine sending that breath to that place as you inhale. And as you exhale, imagine relaxing the top of the head, relaxing the forehead, moving down to the eyes, to the cheeks as well, just starting to relax. Maybe with each exhale, you might sink a little deeper into the floor, into the mat against the wall. Moving down to the chin, the tongue, removing it from the roof of your mouth if it's there. Maybe licking your lips and swallowing is a great way to relax the entire face. Breathing out any anxiety, any tension, any worry knowing this isn't our affirmation for today, but knowing you are worthy, you are loved. Inhaling that breath in and imagine sending it right to the shoulders. Breathing out, relaxing, dropping any tension from those shoulders, from the shoulder blades. Feeling those inhales now in the chest, in your heart space, one of the most important places of our body. Exhaling, releasing, relaxing the chest. Moving down to the arms, the biceps, triceps, forearms, sinking deeper. Maybe those hands fall to their sides. Maybe those fingers spread open a little more. Continuing to deepen that breath as you feel that belly rise with those inhales and softly closing in, contracting that body inward as you exhale. Relaxing the belly as you breathe, remembering why you're here and acknowledging any thoughts that come by. But again, as they're on that bicycle, just letting them drift away. If you're seated, you might feel those hips. If you're laying down, you'll feel them too. But just imagine sending those inhales toward the hips. And as you breathe out, maybe they sink a little deeper into the mat, into the floor the thighs, the glutes, our bum muscles, moving all the way down to our knees, our calves, taking deep inhales and sighing out the mouth. Exhale, sinking a little deeper, keeping those eyes closed, being okay with silence, being okay with being alone here with your thoughts, with your mind, with your breath. 
It's hard to be alone sometimes, but it's strength comes from being alone. Strength comes from acknowledging that. Almost down to the bottom of our bodies, the calves, those ankles, and the feet. Finding one last deep inhale here as we breathe in and as we relax those toes on the exhale. Now, as I'd like to bring up this mantra, this positive affirmation, you have chosen it today. If you'd like to repeat out loud after me, I am poggers. I am poggers. Really mean those words, embrace those words. I am poggers. I am poggers. Three more times out loud or to yourself in your head. Why don't you say it out loud, Sid, with me. I am poggers. I am poggers. I am poggers. That might mean one thing to one person, one thing to another, but just really embrace what it means to you. Continuing to breathe. And now starting to find awareness in that body once again. You can wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, maybe wiggle the nose. Just taking three more deep breaths, maybe the biggest ones you've taken today, taking a deep inhale through the nose and a sigh out the mouth. Two more just like that, deep inhale. Exhale, sigh. Last one, really feel that lung expand, pressing into those ribs as you inhale. Hold the breath at the top. Maybe you sip in a little more air and sigh it out. Slowly blink those eyes open. Just say to yourself a couple more times, I am poggers. I am poggers. Biggest one, maybe with a smile this time, I am poggers. I am poggers. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and sweep those arms up as we inhale. Maybe those hands touch. And then just send those hands to your heart. You can bow your head to meet them. And just taking a moment here to thank yourself for meditating, for being alone with yourself, for finding the breath, and just allowing yourself to relax and soon to recharge. Ooh. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, a little more, maybe a little more chill. <laughs> yeah, it was very chill. And I feel like I really enjoyed the breathing portion of it. That always like calms it's me down. It centers you, right? Yeah, yeah, it centers me for sure. Well, Chad, thank you so much You're for very, guiding very us through some meditation. Said. It was great. I hope you enjoyed it, chat. I we'll see you in a little bit. Beautiful. I'm just going to talk with them and kind of recap what we did. You got it. Right. See you guys soon. Thank you. <laughs> All right, chat, let me grab you guys. <clears throat> thank you very much. All right, I'm going to get back in my chair without slipping. Oh, and I caught myself. You know when you catch yourself on the door handle, like you're with the clothes you're wearing? That was me. It was almost really bad. <laughs> Welcome back, chat. It is good to see you. We are poggers. We are poggers, aren't we? <laughs> did you guys join along? Who joined along with me? Who did some meditation? It's so funny. I'm like so calm now to continue on with a high energy stream. I'm like, I could just chill. You want to just chat? Chat, we'll just chill out. <laughs> That was wholesome, wasn't it? It was really enjoyable and very relaxing. I feel quite, I feel quite relaxed. That was so nice. We love Chad. I know he's great, isn't he? That was very, very comfortable to go through. Very, very comfortable. And at the time when I was mentioning how hard it can be for me to meditate because I am sort of all over the place in my head, it was actually really nice to be able to just sit and listen like, I don't know if you guys are able to hear it, but the water in the background is really, really nice and added to the whole ambiance. We had the meditation music, which was really easy to focus on. Sid sounds so relaxed. This is the slowest I've ever talked in my life. Like <laughs> normally I am zooming a million miles per hour, but here I am just incredibly relaxed. So it's quite nice. It's a, it's a change of things. Are you feeling poggers? Of course I am, how could I not? I knew that you guys, as soon as we were picking out which mantras to allow you to vote on, I was like, oh, they are 100% gonna be picking this one. The framing of the shot is beautiful and the car is too, isn't it? It's such a lovely place. Like, how could you not be, how could you not be calm here? It's so nice. <laughs> um, 
you have flowing water on set. Yeah, there's, a, well, I think it's a pond in the background. There's like a koi pond in the background and I can hear the flowing water. I'm not sure if you guys are able to, but it is incredibly peaceful. So it sounds like quite a few of you joined along in our meditation, which makes me really happy. I encourage you to do the same when we get to yoga, which I'm really, really looking forward to as well. Um, I, that, that was such a positive experience that I know that yoga is going to be as well. So I'm very, very looking forward to it. Um, <clears throat> is it cold today in LA? Yes, as you can see, I am incredibly bundled up because for whatever reason, it's freezing. It's like 40 or 50, okay, freezing. It's pretty cold. <laughs> it's cold for us um, LA people. We are not used to this at all. So uh, yeah, I'm just staying warm, staying bundled. But honestly, I was getting a little warm while we were meditating. So I think I'm gonna dabble in taking my ja jacket off when we do yoga, just so I have a little bit more movement because my puffer might make it a little hard, but we'll see what happens. We will see. Um, oh, okay, this just in, it is approximately 58 degrees and now I feel like I whined for no reason because that is quite warm, honestly, it's not so bad. <laughs> um, can we all live here and do some yoga group session? Well, we'll have the opportunity to do a yoga group session in a moment. Obviously, we're not here together in person, but you guys can stand up in your computer or your couch or wherever you are and you can join us in some yoga and obviously we're gonna bring Chad back who is our guide today so you guys will have some real you know some real experienced people to follow which is going to be really really nice I'm looking forward to it um one thing that I do want to talk about that kind of coincides and ties into the whole theme of today's show and it's something that's really important to me and I think to a lot of people on set um this theme is mental health I talk about it I talk about it quite a bit um on my own on my own streams when we're just hanging out because it's important to me and it's something that I always want to have an open dialogue about. Um, one thing that I have been talking to you guys about quite recently and frequently is that I have been seeing a therapist and it's been really amazing. Uh, a lot of people have this sort of negative connotation when it comes to therapy and I just kind of want to reframe that idea in your head. I think of therapy and working on mental health in the same way that I think of exercising and working on your physical health. Uh, it's like therapy to me feels like the gym for my brain. And I feel like if you are putting effort into one side of your, your person and of your being, it's really important to do the same for all aspects. And I can honestly say that the more time I spend focusing on staying healthy mentally, the better I feel in my, my day to day. And so I really, really cherish the time that I have to take care of those things. And I know that you know, maybe seeing a therapist is not accessible for everybody, um, but there are a lot of really great options out there that you could look into. And I also, I, well, I'm really happy to see that a lot of you guys are, are saying that you've seen a therapist or you think therapy is poggers because I too think therapy is poggers. Um, <laughs> there are other ways that you can explore the ideas of your mental health on your own as well. So finding things that you enjoy that make you happy, meditation, yoga, these are some things that you could, you know, incorporate into your routine to help with not only your physical health, but your mental health as well. As you know, Chad talked about, it's, it's more than just what you're doing with your body. It's so much about your, your being and your mental state, which is really amazing. It's something that you can like kill two birds with one stone. You knock them both out. Um, it makes me really happy that I have the opportunity to talk about something like this because I think it is quite, quite important. And if you are just coming in, it's nice to meet my jacket flap keeps flapping over. If you can see me struggling with it, I'm <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. Um, my name is Sid or Sidion and I'm a variety streamer on Twitch and we are here today with Volkswagen and the beautiful Taos SUV. We're on location. It's a little bit chilly, but we are hanging out and we're talking about all things relaxing and recharging. We just finished some meditation with our guest Chad, our guide Chad, who walked us through that and it was really amazing. And if you cannot tell the difference in my demeanor from the first part of the stream until now, <laughs> it is quite evident how calm and relaxed I am. So we'll be bringing Chad back eventually and we're gonna be doing some yoga, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, I encourage you guys to join us in meditation and it sounds like quite a bit of you did. And I'd like to encourage you to do the same uh, for yoga because I think that that will be, you know, the two things go hand in hand. And I think that you can have like a really well-rounded mental and physical health experience with us today. If, if you join us, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I already feel really, really great. Um, 
I love the color of the car. Me too. So the color is the corn flower blue. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it as well. It's a, it's a beautiful scenery in the back. We've got a gorgeous car with a contrasting color to the, like the green that we're hanging out in. So it's really, really nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad somebody asked. They say, is Rachel okay? Did she survive last stream? <laughs> we have Rachel here on set with us to get again today. Um, <laughs> Rachel is doing all right. She's here, she's back. We're happy to have her again. Um, if you were not here last stream, she was uh, standing in the rain, absolute downpour. She's all bundled up today, staying warm. So we're, <laughs> we're feeling good. Everybody say hello to Rachel. Rachel is alive and well, she's here, she's back. <laughs> Thanks for checking in with her chat. You guys are so sweet. She's awesome. I know it was so funny. I realized that after the, um, first stream where we saw Rachel in the rain, I was like, oh, this is totally going to become one of the uh, memes from our Volkswagen streams. It's going to be Rachel bundled up in the cold and Rachel in the rain. <laughs> um, that cold, it's kind of that cold out here. Well, and we've been out here for a while too. So obviously it's pretty cold in the morning. I did warm up during meditation. I wonder if that's normal. I'm going to have to ask Chad, but um, I definitely got really warm. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to take my coat off. Uh, and I'm assuming that I'll get kind of warm when we do yoga. So I, I will be taking it off. Whoever has been picking the locations for these has been killing it, haven't they? They've been all so beautiful. So this is our our last show. This is our fun finale, which um, is really bittersweet, but I would love to recap a little bit of what we've done. Uh, we started with charcuterie boards and the beautiful, beautiful farm and community garden. I absolutely loved that one. And then we hung out, I forget, exactly where it was, but we hung out near the beach um, and that was gorgeous. That was like the most stunning view ever. And I, it was something that I didn't know that you could find in California, in LA. So it's been really nice to explore these places. Um, the stream prior, we did some vintage shopping, which was really enjoyable. That's when you got to see Rachel in the rain. Um, and today we are here at this beautiful garden. Um, and I am so thankful to have been able to see these places because they are places that I probably would not have visited if it weren't for this opportunity with Volkswagen. So I'm really, really happy to get out here and be able to share them with you as well. For people who are taking trips to LA or who are LA natives, these are places that you could check out if you're looking outside or if you're looking to get outside, if you're looking to relax and recharge, I don't know how you could not be relaxed here. This is like the most peaceful set I've ever been on. So, <laughs> um, I am, I'm happy to have you guys here with us today. Um, someone in chat is asking, hey Sid, what's something you think would help someone feel comfortable with who they are as a person? Ah, oh, okay, I love that question. Um, something that I mentioned last stream when we were talking about trend setting and, and fashion and those kind of things was sort of a realization that I had at a pretty young age. And I consider myself to be a confident person um, and finding comfort in yourself can be tough. And I, I wasn't always, I was really shy. I like clung to my mom, would not leave her side, didn't talk to strangers, like all of those kind of things. So um, it's really, for me, in order to be comfortable and confident in who I was, it took time, 100%. But I think that it was a lot of reaffirming myself and telling myself that, you know, maybe you could use mantras, saying that you're like worthy and you are loved and all of those things, because that's kind of what I did. Um, and I didn't realize I was doing that at the time until we have honestly talked about it today, but those were the things that I did. And um, a story that I shared last stream was that one time I went out wearing an outfit that I loved, but was worried that other people were gonna judge me for dressing a certain way or whatever else. Um, and then I realized that most people are thinking the same thing about themselves, or they are also concerned about the way that they look or, what they're wearing or whatever it is. And those things helped me realize that I could just be myself and walk around and be who I am and like what I like. And more people are just like concerned with themselves. They're probably not concerned with what you're wearing. And that gave me like such confidence in that moment. And I realized that at like kind of a young age. And so I carried that with me through life. Um, yeah, I think that it takes time and it's a journey for sure. It's like a self-love journey. And I think a lot of people are still working through those things. I am still working through it. I may be confident and comfortable, but I'm still working through self-love too. Um, but yeah, I do think that I take the time to remind myself that I'm doing well and that I am loved and that I am worthy and all of these things when those doubts sort of like 
creep through. So I hope that you guys are able to find that as well. And I hope that that helped. <laughs> um, so we are gonna take a quick break. However, when we get back, we're gonna bring back on our guide, Chad, who I'm really excited to have back on the stream. You guys, if you wanna prep some questions for him, that would be great. Um, we're gonna get into some yoga and you guys will have another opportunity to vote. This time you'll be voting on the yoga pose that I get to do. And I'm going to ask you to be kind to me, okay? We are on sloped yoga mats. I'm not very you know, flexible. I don't have great balance. So we're gonna see what happens. If you'd like to potentially see me fall, then definitely join us after the break, okay? And again, a reminder, we would love to have you join us in the yoga, okay? So we'll take a break and I'll see you when we're back. Go ahead. It's important to check in with yourself. That's why taking this time for self-care is just what I need. <sighs> Whether it's rest, exercise, or meditation, it's important to figure out what works best for you to keep yourself in a relaxed state of mind. One of the things I like about the Volkswagen Taos SEL is that I can create a peaceful environment inside of the car. I can put on some chill music and place my phone on the charging dock while I enjoy my drive. In the Taos, I can get to where I need to be and keep my peace of mind. And thankfully, the ride there is just as relaxing. Okay, chat, welcome back to the stream. It was a false alarm, it's still cold, so I'm putting my coat back on and then I will be joining you in my fancy director's chair in just a moment. <laughs> all right, let's get all cozied up. Uh-oh, I closed my iPad, hopefully it doesn't have a, let's see, ah, oh, it doesn't have a lock, perfect. Welcome back to the stream. It's good to see you guys again. I'm gonna go ahead and get, I'm gonna get cozy. I'm gonna get cozy in here. Okay, so. Welcome back to the stream. If this is uh, you just coming in from the break, if you weren't here prior, it's nice to meet you. My name is Sid Sydney or Sidion. I'm a variety streamer, and today we are here with Volkswagen. Thank you so much, Volkswagen, for making this happen. As you can see, we have the Taos SUV in the back, and someone in chat asked about the color of the car. The color is cornflower corn blue. Isn't it perfect with this setting? Um, today we're hanging out and talking about all things relaxing and recharging. We did some meditation earlier, which was absolutely wonderful. And in just a few minutes, we'll be getting into some yoga. And again, I would like to encourage you guys to join us if you are interested. Um, we've just been talking about mental health, relaxing, recharging. And I'm really curious if you guys have ways that you love to do that. So for me, I really love, <laughs> I've talked about this before, but I'm a big napper. So I love napping. Um, and for me, like if I, I'll probably nap after this stream. Um, relaxing is uh, sometimes hard for me to do. I think that I have a very productivity oriented brain where I feel like I always need to be doing something. And it can be hard for me to find ways to relax. And so napping is definitely one of them <laughs> because it feels like I can really just like shut off and relax and recharge i definitely do feel better after i nap i know a lot of people have the phenomena where they nap and then they wake up and they're like what day is it what year is it and where am i um i normally wake up and i feel really good and like geared to go on to my next activity so i really really enjoy napping i see some of you guys are saying same you like you like napping um let's see on the top we have a poll and it asks you guys if you've done yoga and most of you guys have never tried it so this is gonna be a really, really good opportunity. I know maybe you're like, oh, it's gonna feel silly to get up from my chair and do yoga in my room while I'm watching some people on my computer screen. But um, as Chad mentioned earlier, maybe you know we could try like letting go of our egos and we could just get out there and try something new. I would love to encourage you guys to join us if you've never done it before or if you're a yoga expert and you just wanna hang out and you know be with us in this moment. I highly, highly encourage you. So the chat says squirrel. Yes, okay, so one of my favorite things about the location that we're at, I'm like a huge animal lover, and uh, I keep seeing squirrels just scurry by, and they're the absolute cutest. It's funny, it's like, I spend so much time inside streaming that when I get to come to a location like this, it's really, really nice to feel like I'm connected to what's going on around me, and I have really enjoyed the squirrel watching today, so <laughs> it's nice. 
I'm so excited. Today is a self-care day. Yes, exactly. Today is a self-care day. We're talking about all of that kind of stuff. And if you guys have ways that you like to handle self-care, or if you have suggestions for me, I'm always down to hear it. Some things that I suggest, like um, speaking of relaxing, recharging, self-care, mental health, um, not only napping, but I do love exercising as well. So I do try to make it um, to the gym as often as possible uh, because that's the that's the thing that makes me feel really good. But I also think like just taking care of my like hygiene and things like that's so, like skin care. I love doing face masks. Um, if I'm having a self care day, that is almost always included. Uh, skin care is really important to me, so I I enjoy that a lot too. I don't know if you guys can relate whatsoever. Um, Self-care day, we're all worth it and loved, exactly. And it makes me really, really happy to, to be able to share these experiences with you guys where we talk about these kind of things. Yoga is awesome. I do it once a week and it's so cool for the mind and at the same time, unlocking body movement. Yeah, it's funny because um, there was a point in time where, maybe not right now, but there was a point in time where I was working out a lot and um, I was really into like weightlifting and those kind of things. And then I went to take a yoga class and it just, feels like different parts of your body are getting worked. It's like different um, different muscles, different movements. And I'm like, oh yeah, I may be like really buff or whatever right now, but then I come and do yoga and I'm like, this isn't really hard. <laughs> like, it, can be, it can be quite difficult. So it's really nice to be able to switch up your exercises and find different things and work all parts of, uh, like all parts of your body. Buying a yoga mat was probably the best purchase I've ever made for my mental and physical health. So is it something that you do at home? Like you just roll it out in your living room or whatever it is? I um, actually don't own a yoga mat currently, um, but I, I used to. And I, when I was living alone, I would roll it out in this like sun spot that was right next to my window. And I wouldn't necessarily do yoga, but I would sit there and stretch and it was really, really enjoyable. Um, and I, I think that's something that if you, if you get yourself a yoga mat, you could do, or you could do some simple yoga. Like Chad mentioned earlier, there's like five minute exercises that you can do just to feel connected and get some exercise in and feel good. It's something that I definitely want to try to incorporate more into my streams. Like how fun would it be if we could just stretch in the middle of like, we're queuing for our next league game and we take a stretch. I think that would be really, really nice. <laughs> Welcome in if this is your first time here. Um, my name is Sid or Sydney or Sidion. I am a variety streamer and we are hanging out with Volkswagen. We are outside. We did some meditation earlier and it was really, really wonderful. Um, and we are going to be moving into some yoga here shortly. We have our guide with us, Chad, who I will reintroduce in a few. Um, it's going to be really wonderful and I would love to um, encourage you to join us if you are interested uh, but yeah if you're coming in from the front page and this is your first time that's my little intro it's a pleasure to have you guys here welcome in if you'd like to say hi in chat i've got you guys here on my little ipad so i can say hello to all of you if you have any questions or any like personal anecdotes in terms of stretching relaxing recharging self-care mental health like all that kind of stuff that I'm, I'm happy to read it all, happy to see it all. Hey, said hello, everybody. You don't see this type of stuff on Twitch often. Yeah, and that's why I think that this is a really cool opportunity. Like, thank you to Volkswagen for allowing us to come on here and have these kind of conversations uh, because I think it's important. And I think that it can be underlooked in this industry in terms of like gaming and streaming and things like that, where we sort of neglect our, our mental health or our physical health, because I get it. Okay. I too would like to play league for 16 hours a day. I understand, but I think it is really important to have these moments where we focus on self-care. And so I'm really, really happy to be partnered with them and having these kind of conversations on Twitch. It feels really good. It feels really, really good. Um, so I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, someone in chat says, make sure your yoga mats are made of environmentally safe uh, materials. Oh, that's actually a really good point to make. I, I like that a lot. That is a good point. Um, I have not looked into yoga mats much or the differences in them, but I'm sure that you could find one that works for you and your beliefs and you know what you, what you feel is important to you. Gym is definitely my form of meditation and gaming is a form of escape. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that and in a lot of ways, gaming can be good for 
For me, I think of gaming as a way to like interact with my friends, which is really good for my mental health. So like I love playing multiplayer games. That's like uh, really important to me because it's time that I get to spend with the people that I love. And so in some ways, gaming is self-care too, <laughs> even though it is partially at the same time it is my job. It's like a little bit of uh, a way that I get to connect with the people around me, which is really important for my mental health and, and you know, the things that I do to take care of myself. What is this? So what we are doing today is we are talking about all things relaxing, recharging, mental health, self-care, all of those type of things. As you can see, we've got some yoga mats here. We did some meditation earlier with our guide, Chad. It was really, really enjoyable. It actually helped me relax a lot. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to getting into yoga, which we will be doing soon. Um, we'll be inviting our guide back on and we'll be getting into some yoga. You guys will have the opportunity to vote on some poses that you'd like to see us do. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of my yoga background, which I had talked about earlier. Um, it's not much. I've done some hot yoga. I've, I've dabbled quite a bit, but it, um, I never like took it to intermediate levels or anything past that. It was always been a beginner classes. So it'll be nice to kind of circle back around and, uh, you know, start with some stuff again. And maybe I'll feel really encouraged after this to, to get back into it. Cause it does, it does feel really good. Hot yoga is super fun. Yes. I had a lot of friends growing up that were really, really into hot yoga. So it was something that I had the opportunity to try quite a bit. Um, and I was pretty consistent there for a while, but sometimes things just, they just slip out of the way. And what can you do? Hot yoga is super fun. What about cold yoga? We're about to do some cold yoga today, actually. Um, <laughs> it's 58 degrees outside, which maybe not everybody thinks is cold, but as you can see, I'm quite bundled up. So I can let you know about my cold yoga experience afterwards, okay? I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> um, the light cyan blue car looks amazing. Yes, yeah, so this is the Volkswagen Taos SUV. It is in the cornflower blue color, actually, if you're curious about the exact color of it. It's cornflower blue. Um, I know a lot of you guys have really been enjoying the, co the color of the car, and how could you not with the scenery? It just is absolutely beautiful what we've got going on. Um, uh, I don't get to join stream much, but I'm EU, but I love her. Well, welcome in. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'm always happy to see where people are from like all over the world. I think that's one of the coolest things about Twitch is that you get the opportunity to meet people from all different walks of life. And that's what's so important and exciting for me. Cornflower blue. Yes, the take notes chat, it's cornflower blue. <laughs> I go to yoga every Wednesday and I can say it's surprisingly improved both my mental and physical health. Yeah, I think it's, um, a really, really great way to focus on your physical and mental health. And that's why I'm really excited to get into it today. And I'm really excited to ask Chad lots of questions because I do have a lot of them. The cool thing about yoga and meditation is that it's so deeply rooted in like history and just cultures. And so I'm really curious about that. Um, I know very, very little about the history of yoga, but I'm sure our guide Chad knows quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to asking him about it. Um, and if you guys have any questions, again, I will have chat with me so you can ask myself or him and I will relay the questions on over to him. What does a cornflower even look like? You know what? That's what I was wondering. I was like, I don't even know what a cornflower is, but I guess th this is the blue color of it. And you know what? I'm, I'm going with it. Volkswagen said so. So this is cornflower. Okay. This is cornflower guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I am uh, Chad and Chad. I know when I first introduced myself, I was like, I'm going to be saying chat and Chad interchangeably and it's going to be a total mess, but I actually think I've done okay so far. I've got the Chad in the chat. <laughs> what type of yoga will you be doing today? You know, we're going to have to ask our guide. I actually am not, you know, uh, well versed in yoga terms. Uh, I didn't even really know that there were different types. To me, it was like beginner, intermediate, expert. Uh, but yeah, there probably are different types. So when he gets on, I will ask him and I will let you know. How does that sound? <laughs> does that sound okay? Because uh, unfortunately, I have no idea. Oh, so I wasn't crazy when I heard her say chat when she said chat. Yes, I, uh, w I'm trying to make sure that I'm pronouncing it well enough <laughs> that we know who I'm addressing. addressing. I'm so happy to see you live. Welcome in. Today we are hanging out. Uh, we did some meditation earlier and we're gonna get into some yoga here very soon. And I'm very excited about it. 
Chad will have many questions. Yeah, hopefully you guys will have questions for Chad about yoga, meditation. He's into filmmaking, so if you're curious about that, that was something that I was really curious about. So if you're into you know, any of those things or you're curious about any of those things, how to get into yoga, history of yoga, what kind of yoga we're gonna be doing today, we can talk about all of that and I think it will be a lot of fun. All right, should we bring him on? I think we should. Chad, why don't you come on out and we'll get into some yoga. Should be fun. I'm going to move my blankie over Hello, here. Chat. Welcome back. Thank you, Sid. Welcome back. Happy do you to mind? Be back. Yeah. Do you mind reintroducing yourself <laughs> yeah. for anyone who wasn't here earlier? Hello, everybody. So Chad is the name. I am originally from Portland, Oregon. I've lived in Los Angeles about eight years. My yoga journey has been about three and a half years long. And as you mentioned, I am a filmmaker, and that's kind of what brought me to LA initially. And then, yeah, yoga. Just I found yoga when I was kind of in a darker place, and I just kind of needed something to uh, self-love and just to kind of reinvigorate my fitness journey as well, and that definitely helped. Yay. Well, chat has questions for you already. Love it. Thanks for giving him a warm welcome back, you guys. Um, someone in chat wants to know, oh geez, I just lost it. Okay, <laughs> a question for Chad. As a yoga noob, what are things that I have to watch out for when I join my first yoga class? Definitely. Well, so they, I'd say most studios offer basic yoga classes, which I would definitely recommend. And mm. it's just go at what your body tells you is yes and what your body tells you is no. One of the things that I always say is if you're in a stretch and it feels uncomfortable, that's okay because, you know, if your hamstrings are really tight, it's going to feel uncomfortable. If you feel pain, back off. Mm. And so basically just kind of knowing the difference between those two and just knowing what is good for your body and what's not because the teacher will say something, but you'll know your body more than anybody else. And we have props. Uh, most studios will also have props and these are blocks, but you could use books if you're at home. You could use cans of soup if you're at home. Just anything that could assist you. Blankets as well. If you have sensitive knees when you're on your knees, just anything that will just kind of help you get into the practice a little better. Yeah, I like those tips. I will definitely be keeping an eye out for my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, someone in chat wants to know what's the heart like? What's the hardest yoga? The hardest yoga, um, I mean, it's a great question. Um, it's, it, I, I mean, inversions is a very in advanced practice. That's the handstands, headstands, ah. anything like that. <laughs> and that just takes daily practice of doing it. So I am not, I don't have a great inversion practice now. I used to, but it's because I didn't, I stopped doing it every day. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of lose it. Mm -hmm. um, Bikram yoga is an old style of yoga. It's, um, and that's very, it's hot yoga, but it's also, okay. so yeah, hot yoga is intense because you, yeah. it's a lot of the breath and it's important, it's an, beneficial, I should say, because it really gets you deeper into the stretches. The the, the, the warmer it is the in the heat, room, yeah. the looser the muscles will become. So cold yoga today, we'll make sure yeah. we have a nice warm up. <laughs> but, Absolutely. <yeah. laughs> Someone else wants to know, uh, hey, Chad, I'm very active and I do a lot of strength workouts, but I find that this results in quite a bit of lower back pain. Mm -hmm. Can yoga help fix that? 100%. And I'll definitely talk through various poses. And I know there's a lot of gamers that are watching today. So yes. I'll definitely be doing some stretches, which are going to be very beneficial to the gamer community. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so like low back pain, it's, and there's all the modifications and all the cues that I'll give. It's just about tucking the tailbone, keeping the low back safe in a lot of your poses. And just the, the more you bend your knees in poses, the easier it'll be to release that low back. And again, if you ever feel any tingling, that's just a nerve that might be pinched. Or if you ever feel just any sort of pain, that just means you got to back off and just go a little slower with the pose than you might want to and that's again leaving the ego at the door because mm. we want to you know go as deep as we can but sometimes we just got to go slow yeah and there's like a standard yoga disclaimer about safety do you mind telling chat about that yeah um so just don't like listen to your doctor if you have a note about that listen to your body if you're not feeling as balanced as you want it to be today then appreciate that and uh, accept that because tomorrow you'll probably feel a little different. Like I can balance on one leg today, but tomorrow I not, might not be able to. And that's just when you kind of got to just kind of laugh at yourself and smile yeah. about it and be okay with that. Yeah. Okay. I love that. That's what I'm going to be doing today <laughs> when I fall over in the middle of my post. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that will be me. Someone wants to know the most bizarre place you've done yoga. Bizarre place I've done yoga. Um, the airport once. I okay. was, yeah, I had a layover and I was like, I'm just, I need to stretch or I need to move. And so, you know, and you get a couple of looks, but then you get respect as well. I was at a music festival as well and just like waiting for another show. And then it was fun because I was doing yoga with my brother and then a big crowd was like, oh my goodness, they're doing yoga. And so a couple people joined. And oh, so it's, fun. it was a good, it was a good vibe. I love that. And that's the, like, such a cool thing about this exercise is that you're able to just do it anywhere. Yeah, Like you exactly. can just pick it up in the airport. That sounds really amazing. I like that. 
What about like your favorite place to do yoga? Do you enjoy studio, outdoors? Um, I love one of the, the studio that I work at, we used to have an outdoor location. It's just on a rooftop and it just overlooked the sunset during the evening times. And so that was great. Windier days, it's a little trickier because yeah. obviously balance is an <laughs> issue. Um, and sometimes just in my room, you know, just where I can really, I don't have to worry about outside stimuli. I can mm. really just kind of become one with my breath. And then again, I like the ego is easier to get over because yeah. you're not worried about somebody else looking. You're not trying to impress the person next to you, which which is, you know, sometimes there's a cute guy or girl next to you and you're like, hey, I want to go a little farther because yeah. <laughs> I want to look cool, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are getting into our chat poll. This is where you guys will have the opportunity to pick a yoga pose for us. And so I'm going to read to you what yoga poses we have in the poll and Chad is going to demonstrate them. Mm. So first we have the half moon pose. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Yeah, I will not be able to do that. <laughs> um, secondly, we have the tree pose. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then last, we have the warrior three pose. Got or it. Here, or here. Whew. This is easiest. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, please be nice, tree pose. <laughs> but of course, that's not what you picked. Chat has chosen the warrior three nice. pose. So that's the one that we will be it's doing today as we go through <laughs> yoga. Awesome. I am scared. <laughs> Don't be. It'll be fun. And that's the fun about yoga. That's why we have our blocks. And again, okay. if you ever wobble out of a pose, you can always come back in well, okay. or just smile and breathe and move on. All right. So should we get into it Let's then? Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. We'll start with a little warm up. So, I'm going to yeah, set you guys down. Would love to bring everyone in chat along. Yeah, join us. It'll be so fun. So we're going to get started just okay. in a cross-legged position as we started our meditation. We're just going to do a couple of warm up stretches here and then we're going to move to our knees. There's also these fuzzy socks oh, yeah. if you're ever interested in wearing those. I'm going to put I'm my actually, fuzzy socks I'm gonna on. I'm going to take my shoes off too because okay. it's a little easier to to move. I'm going to cover um, my feetsies yeah, while I change them. Yeah, socks are great because of the warmth, <laughs> but it's also great to have bare feet on the mat to grip the mat a little yeah. easier. Okay. So while we're here, find that long straight spine. Just roll the shoulders back a couple of times when you are there. Once the socks are on, Doing you know. Doing my sock change <laughs> quickly. Boom. Oh but my gosh. For everyone at fuzzy. chat, while, while Sid's putting on those socks, let's just get some breathing going. Again, we always follow the breath. We try to create long, deep inhales, some sighs out of the mouth to start. I'm moving this. Move that, yeah. Okay. Out of the way. Move those blocks too when you get there. Anyway, so okay, putting okay. a deep inhale. Exhale, sigh. So one more just like that, just a clear inhale. And sigh out the mouth. It's just gonna move through a couple of rounds of a seated cat cow. This will kind of stretch our spine a little bit. So as we inhale, we're just gonna drag the hands toward our thighs as we kind of arch the spine forward, pressing our chest forward. Exhale, we're gonna round the spine, drawing those hands to the knees, gazing down toward our uh, crotch. <laughs> <laughs> inhale to that cow. Exhale to your cat. Really round, spread those shoulder blades apart. One more round here. And exhale to your cat. Now finding that neutral spine again, we all have stiff necks probably from gaming sitting all day, so a great yes. neck stretch here. We're just gonna extend the right arm out long. We're just gonna bring it up, place it on the left side of our head as we just softly bend the neck down toward our right shoulder. No weight here, we're just letting gravity do the work. You can stay right here. If you want to extend your left arm out long, you can keep it low. You can kind of play with the direction of this. You can roll the wrist a couple of times. We're just going to take three breaths here, maybe playing with rolling the fingers. You might feel a sensation all the way down your arm. This is our body's connective tissue, our fascia. It's proof that uh, everything in our body is connected. Just taking deep inhales here, breathing into the left side of the neck, the collarbone. You can also roll the neck in little semicircles here if that feels good. One last breath here, and a sigh out the mouth. Then releasing that left right hand, bringing the neck back up to center, then just moving over to the other side. Got to stay balanced, right? So left hand up gently on the right side of the neck, dropping that head down, reaching that right arm out long, breathing into the right side of the neck, maybe rolling up the wrist, playing with moving the fingers up and down. Hmm. It's like that tensegrity model where you like kind of pull and everything pulls away. That's kind of like what our scaffolding, our fascia does within our whole body. That's when you have a tightness in your toes, if you kind of stretch the side of your body, you might feel that, that stretch. One last breath here. And exhale, letting it go. Bring that neck back up to center. We're just gonna move onto our hands and knees now. Okay. This is called tabletop position. 
our hands will be shoulder width distance apart, our knees will be hip width distance apart. Just gonna do one round of cat-cow just to work that spine once more. So as we inhale, we arch the spine, we gaze forward, exhale, we round the spine, pressing into those fingertips, really gazing in between the legs here. Awesome, back to center. On the next inhale, we're just gonna lift our right arm up toward the sky. I know, should you face me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that might be easier. <laughs> okay. So reach your right arm up, just roll out the wrist once, and then we're gonna thread the needle. So we're gonna send this right arm underneath the left. We're gonna be laying on our right shoulder here. This is a shoulder stretch, placing your right ear on the ground, keeping those hips high to the sky. If you'd like, you can bring this left hand right out into the top of the mat, getting onto those fingertips as well might get you into this armpit on that left side. I feel like a pretzel. <laughs> You're moving. <laughs> Just taking two breaths here. Nice deep inhales, really feeling those lungs expand. And as you exhale, maybe you can sink a little deeper into the mat. And then slowly bringing that left hand back toward your face, pressing into those left fingertips, releasing that right shoulder. Maybe give a roll of that shoulder before you set that hand back down. Next time we're moving to the other side. Of course, so we inhale. The left arm up. You're gonna to want to remove that jacket soon, I bet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Threading that needle, so left shoulder through, landing on that left shoulder. Oh. Head is down. This is a great way to release the shoulders, as I said. So you can extend this right arm out long. If you have a stronger practice, you could extend this right arm out, excuse me, the right leg out. But for now, we're just keeping those hips high. Just taking one more breath here. And when you're ready, go ahead and bring that right hand back toward your face. Press into the right hand, lifting that left arm up. Maybe roll out that wrist one time. And then back to tabletop. We're gonna bring our hands toward the front of the mat here. We're just gonna melt our heart down so we're still keeping those hips high. This is called a heart melter or a puppy pose. You can have your forehead on the mat. That's the most common, the most, for the, let's say the least flexible people, which is amazing because you're still <laughs> feeling that stretch in the chest, in that heart space. And imagining sending that breath right to that chest. Taking two breaths here. If you do have a little more flexibility, you could put your chin on the mat. The most flexible people can put their whole chest on the mat. But oh my goodness. I know, that's intense. Not me. <laughs> Not me either. <laughs> Last breath here. And then on this next inhale, we're just gonna shift our shoulders right over our elbows. Coming into, if this is a little intense, you can stay on your knees here, but a forearm plank if that's in your, if that's in your guide. If not, just drop to the knees off. and we can do the exact same thing here. Just breathing. We're starting to turn on that core. So really contracting the core, kind of like the end of a sneeze, like a chew, that, uh, that chew feeling when you feel everything contract. Just taking one breath. And then we're gonna lower onto our pelvis, coming onto our belly. This is called the Sphinx pose here. Our elbows are right underneath our shoulders. This is a great low back release. So the idea here, you can keep the neck long, chest forward, or if that's too much for your neck, you can gaze down at the ground. But we're just gonna take three breaths here. Imagine pulling your elbows back toward your toes as you reach the chest forward toward the wall or the VW in front of you. <laughs> Taking one final breath here. And as you exhale, just slowly lower yourself down to the mat. Go ahead and bring those hands right toward your chest. We're gonna move into a baby cobra now. This is another low back stretch. So as you inhale, you're just gonna press into the tops of the feet so those kneecaps lift off the ground. You're just gonna slowly, softly press into the hands as you raise that back, raise the chest up, keep the neck long. Exhale, lower back down. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know the idea is there's no weight in the hands. So as we inhale, eventually you'd lift those hands up, dropping those shoulders from the ears and all the weights really in the pelvis, all the weights in the toes. Wait, I'm doing that? <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I you wanna can... give it a try. I'm just curious. Yeah, it's really lifting up. <clears throat> exactly, supermaning it. <laughs> then we could get into a locust pose, but that's a little intense too. I can't even reach my <laughs> hands together. <laughs> no worries. So we're gonna place those hands back down. We're gonna press either into tabletop hands and knees or straight up to plank pose. That's a little intense too, so you can stay right in tabletop. Okay. And then we're gonna curl those toes on. Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna check in with chat really quickly. Yeah, you got see it. See if they're joining us. Because we're about to go standing. This is a great halfway point. Oh, perfect. Hello, chat. How are you guys doing? Why is it making those faces? This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making faces because it's hard. <laughs> it feels really good though. My lower back feels good. Are you guys joining us? 
gamer flexibility. I would like to see your guys' gamer flexibility, yes. okay? <laughs> it feels really good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I am going to take off my jacket because it's, getting, to it's getting toasty now. I'm sweating and loving it. Let's go! And this is a very expedited flow, too. So normally these are, I mean, you can, as again, yoga is practicing for however long feels good. Yay! I'm so glad. It sounds like a lot of people are joining us on our yoga journey. I so, love it. all right, let's get back to it. Awesome. So if we were in our tabletop, what we're going to do is we're going to curl those toes under okay. so we can press into them, maybe using a little bit of core here as we send our hips up and back, finding our first down dog here. So down dog pose where hands are shoulder width distance apart or wider, feet are hip width distance apart or wider. We're really trying to keep our neck nice and long. This is a great pose for gamers as well to fully relax the neck. You can have a soft bend or a generous bend in the knees. The more bend in the knees, the better it will be for that low back. So just, we're just going to take two deep breaths here really keeping that head and neck nice and long. Really pressing into those fingertips as opposed to the wrist. We want to keep that wrist safe. And on the next inhale, we're just going to slowly walk our hands back to meet our feet. So we'll be at the back of the mat here, keeping our feet flat. Oh. We're finding a forward fold, Uttanasana. Again, to help release that low back, we'll have a generous bend in the knees here. And we can grab opposite elbows. You could grab the back of the head if you'd like as well. But again, just trying to keep that neck nice and long. If you would like to straighten the legs, that gets more into the hamstrings. Yeah, but... oh my gosh, my hamstrings are <laughs> super tight. <laughs> and the weight should be more on the toes as opposed to the heels. Okay. But just we're just going to take two more breaths here. How's on this, this one feel, chat? I hope you feel, yeah, I hope this is a good one. <laughs> yeah, this is a good you one. It feels so good. Forward folds are great for anxiety as well. Ooh. If you're about to give a speech and you're like, crap, then you can just kind of go into a forward fold behind the curtain, breathe for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, you'll feel a little better. I love it. So next inhale, we're just going to rise to a halfway lift. So your hands are on your shins. You have a long flat back. You're dropping those shoulders from the ears. And on the exhale, you're just going to find that fold once again. Inhale, you're gonna press to rise, rising all the way up to standing. Woo, one vertebra at a time. And when you inhale, go and sweep those hands up to the sky. Come into that hands at heart position. Just take a moment here, checking in with yourself. How do you feel? Pretty good, hopefully. Yeah, I feel good. What about you, chat? You guys yeah. feel good? Brilliant. All right, next inhale, sweeping those arms back up. Exhale, we're gonna hinge at the hips, coming back into that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you fold again on the exhale, just slowly start walking those hands back to down dog. Nice. Oh, okay. All right, on the next inhale, we're just gonna lift our right leg up. It could be here, it could be here, wherever you are today, that's okay. And on the next exhale, we're just gonna bend that knee, sending that leg through. It's okay if you need to kind of walk it on up, but we're gonna end up placing that right foot next to our right hand. We're gonna stay high on the ball of this back foot here. Okay. And we're gonna squeeze our inner thighs together like they're a pair of scissors. We're gonna rise up coming into a crescent pose. Let it wobble. <laughs> <laughs> so we want a 90 degree angle here. That looks great. Okay. We have a pretty good distance. It's about hip width distance apart between these legs. And again, you can have a straight back leg. You can have a, you can have a, a bend in the knee. Tucking that tailbone, remember to protect that low back. Okay. Nice. Reaching through both sides of the waist, arms are up. Hugging those biceps toward the ears. Taking one inhale, and as you exhale, we're gonna open up to warrior two. Oh, so this is our challenge pose? Almost. Almost warrior our challenge three pose. Is our oh, okay, challenge okay, pose. okay. <laughs> we'll get to warrior two, three in just a minute here. Okay. So warrior two, our front heel is aligned with the back arch of our foot. We still have that 90 degree angle. I want you to turn around so you're facing camera. <laughs> Can I, should I just? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see that. This no, is, this is movie magic. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? Here. So you're reaching the arms out long. Okay. Let's go and back you up, back this foot up, just so it's in line with that heel. Okay. Perfect. This bend is that right knee. difficult and fuzzy socks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why we want the grip on the mat, right? So bending that right knee. More? There, other knee. Oh, my right knee. There okay, it is. okay, boom. And straightening the left knee. Take a look at me. There you go. Bend straight. Nice. I see. Exactly. <laughs> Reaching here. We're not trying to dump to this side. Not okay. trying to dump to this side. And then just straighten those arms out long. Take one breath. Gaze at that front middle finger. Nice, beautiful warrior two. And then as you inhale, you're just gonna flip this front palm, palm toward the sky, send that right arm up, 
There you go, leaning back. This is a reverse warrior. You were doing great there. You could have your left hand grazing against his leg, or you can go for the bind. Take an inhale, exhale. We're gonna cartwheel those hands down, framing our right foot. Coming into this runner's lunge here, so that left foot is now facing the front of the mat as well. Okay. So we are just gonna skip ahead, and we're just gonna come up to our warrior three here. Okay. So we wanna make sure we get that in, right? So on the next inhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. Ugh. Nice. You're gonna start putting all the weight in that right foot, getting a little springy on this back foot. Okay. And when you're ready, you're just gonna press into that right foot so much that you start to straighten this right leg. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Totally. No, it's I super got this. Easy. Yeah, no worries. Okay. You said you body built. <gasps> okay. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Beautiful. I did it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> for half a second. Let's set up again and try it for just one okay. more second. Let's Ooh. actually come to our crescent pose because it's an easier way to get into it. Okay. I challenged her too much. Okay. That's a challenge for me too. So we come back into crescent pose. Mm -hmm. Now we bring our hands to our heart. Just slowly start to lean over that right leg. And then same sensation, putting the weight in the right leg, getting a little light on this back foot. Okay. And then when you're ready, you press into the right foot, hinging over the hips, keeping a long straight spine, pressing into that left heel. Maybe you keep the hands at your heart. Maybe you extend them back. Maybe you reach them forward. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly bend that right knee, send the left foot back. Beautiful work. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Let's open back up to warrior two here. Nice. Just do one more pose before we do a couple cool down poses. This is a triangle pose coming up. Okay. So I'm just gonna straighten this right leg like you were doing earlier. Shifting this right arm over the le right leg. Okay. Then dropping the right arm down. Uh -huh. Nice. Opening up the chest toward the sky. Taking one breath here. This is a great stretch for the inner thigh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> And on the next inhale, you're just gonna re-bend this right leg. Coming back to warrior two for a breath, sweeping that right arm up again, finding that reverse warrior. Mm -hmm. You had it, there you go. Okay. And then cartwheeling those hands down, framing this foot once again. When you're ready, you're gonna step the right foot back to meet the left. You're in a plank pose. Drop to your knees if that feels better. And then you're just gonna slowly squeeze those elbows into the ribs as you lower your chest to the floor. Very nice. So we're just gonna find our way onto our back. Do a couple of cool down poses. I don't know if Chad has any other yes. poses well, they'd like to do. Hello, Chad. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> and so the cardinal rule of yoga <laughs> is we need to do both sides. So since we did all that on the right side, we should do it on the left side. I don't think we have time today, but just make sure you do everything again on the left side. I'm gonna have a super buff right quad <laughs> exactly. now. <laughs> Chad, how was it? Did you guys do our challenge pose? That was hard. <laughs> that was so difficult. To keep up with the breath too, that's yeah. It's just like really staying focused. And then yeah, when we're chatting and laughing, it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, yeah, so, okay, sounds like some people were giving it a try. Nice. Yeah, that was so fun, I'm glad. All right. Cool, just, if you wanna do a couple cool down poses. Yeah, let's awesome. do it. Awesome, so uh, let's getting into the outer thighs here. We can do these laying down, which is great. I and just from down. sitting, it's necessary, right? <laughs> so we'll be down, we'll keep our knees bent and then we'll lift our right leg up to the sky. We'll send our right ankle against our left thigh. You could stay right here. You could press your right hand into the thigh. It starts opening up this thigh here. If you wanna go further, you'll bring those hands, interlace them behind the left thigh. Draw that left knee up. This is called figure four pose. So the idea is to draw this left knee into your chest as you use your right elbow to press the right thigh away. Keep the neck down. Maybe even tuck the chin into the chest a little bit to keep that neck nice and long. Just breathing here. Usually it takes about five breaths for your body to kind of recognize what you're doing to it and to kind of release into the stretch. But we don't have the time here for that. So we'll just breathe here for one more breath though. Yeah, I think that's, we'll it. It's a great one. Yeah, no problem. So much. <laughs> so we'll do, we'll release that and just show you one more stretch. So we'll release that right leg, coming up into a bridge pose, which is very wonderful. So you'll just draw those heels a little closer to your bum. And when you're ready, you're just gonna press into those heels, start lifting up your hips. Maybe you stay right here. You could use your triceps to help press yourself up a little higher. You could okay, also Chad. interlace those hands underneath you, press those triceps even more. I'm gonna leave you with Chad. Chad, I'm gonna leave you with Chad. I'm gonna go adjust something and I'll be right back. Yes. 
So the point of bridge here, it helps open up the hip flexors, which again are very tight from sitting all day, from gaming all day, from driving all day. We all have to sit for way too many reasons nowadays lately. But we could breathe here for upwards of five breaths. But when you're ready, you would exhale and just slowly lower yourself back down. And I'll do a twist since we love twisting as well. So a way we can get into a twist, you can bring both your knees to your chest, but we'll just, we'll do one today. We're gonna keep our right leg in. You're back. I'm back for this so last one. We're getting into a twist. Yay. So go ahead and bring that right knee in toward your chest when you're ready, Sid. Okay. And then we're gonna keep, press that left foot into the mat so our hips lift up off the ground. We're just gonna scooch those hips a couple of inches over to the right. Re-extend that left leg. And then we're gonna draw this right leg across our body, finding that twist here. Ooh, my back crack. Nice, <laughs> bonus points. So the goal for the twist is to keep these shoulder blades on the ground. It doesn't matter so much if this knee is on the ground here. You can also have a block underneath this knee if it feels uncomfortable. You can cactus shape the arms, leave them out long. But either way, you can breathe here for as long as you'd like. And then we always do close out our class with Shavasana, which you could lay down. You could keep cross-legged position. Let's just do cross-legged yeah. here so we're seated. But that's join you. just again, draw those shoulders back, closing the eyes or keeping them open or soft gaze and just refining the breath. The point of Shavasana is to allow your body to settle, allow it to learn from the practice that you just completed. And eventually you might be able to kind of fall into your own meditation, which coming from alpha waves to theta waves and just kind of going within again. So just taking three deep breaths here, maybe a sigh out the mouth, deeping inhale and a sigh. Last one, go ahead and sweep those arms up toward the sky again as you inhale. And exhale, draw those hands to your heart. This is the quickest, most rapid fire practice, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for joining us on our rapid fire yoga yes. practice. I actually had a really good time. That was, that was a lot again, of fun. chat, I hope you did. If you guys could give a big thank you and a goodbye to our new friend, Chad. Thank, thank you, you so all. much. Thank it you, was Sid. such a pleasure. Right thank you, you, thank you. <laughs> All right, chat, I'm gonna grab my blankie so I can stay comfy, although I am quite warmed up after that. Thank you so much. There's our friend Rachel, thanks Rachel. <laughs> so how was that for you guys? How many of you guys, how many of you guys joined in? Lots of claps for Chad, thank you so much. Lots of thank yous. That was really, really enjoyable. Um, I will probably never do yoga with my hair down again. I don't know if you could tell as I was flipping it back and forth, struggling. <laughs> but it was still really, really nice. I've definitely stretched out lots of uh, places in my body I don't typically stretch. And boy, um, was I feeling that in all of my muscles. Also, mildly winded right now. So excuse me if I take more breaths than normal. <laughs> but I'm really, really glad to hear that a lot of you guys joined along and that you had a good time. Um, that makes me really, really happy. That felt really good. You got your hip to pop. Yay. That makes me happy that you were enjoying this and that you feel nice and relaxed. I think that's what we're going for here. Um, today's show was all about relaxing and recharging, which I hope that you guys had the opportunity to do. I definitely did. Um, and again, this is the bittersweet end to our shows. These have been so, so, so much fun. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Volkswagen um, and the Taos SUV for making all of this happen and the protection team. Like we could not have been here without everybody. It's been an absolute blast. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying it very much. Um, Overall, this entire series was about finding joy in LA. And I think that we really had the opportunity to do that. And I loved it so much. We started with charcuterie boards, hanging out with Lily. That was an absolute blast. Um, I got to learn a new skill that I'm hoping to take to, uh, you know, the rest of my life to just be able to do that. If you guys don't mind, I'm actually gonna grab my jacket briefly. If I can just step off really quickly, I'm just gonna go right over here. It's quite chilly all over the place. <laughs> It is quite chilly all over the place. I'm just gonna drape this over my shoulders as we finish our chat. I was warm while we were doing yoga and then I sat down and it all just goes away. But yes, to recap all of this, we've been finding joy in LA. We started with charcuterie boards, which was really, really enjoyable. We got to hang out with Lily. It was a blast. Then we did lattes with our friend Peter, which was also very, very enjoyable. We've had such amazing experts come on and help us out and guide us through these things. 
After that one, our most recent show before this one, we did trend setting. We got to hang out and do some vintage shopping, which was amazing. That was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode as well. And here we're ending with relaxing and recharging. As we head into the holidays, I want to encourage you guys to find ways to relax and recharge. I know it can be stressful with finals and everything that's going on. You're wrapping up school, you're maybe traveling, those kind of things. Um, I don't know about you, but I get pretty bad travel anxiety. So I'm traveling tomorrow and to be able to sit down and do this, I think has really calmed me down. And when Chad was talking about anxieties that we let go on their bicycle, that was one of them that I was thinking about that I'm working on letting go. So. I hope that you guys had the opportunity to think about some things as well and sort of watch them bike away and relax and recharge. And like I said, I'll be taking my nap to relax after this as well, <laughs> which I'm really looking forward to. But overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed the series and I hope you enjoyed the show. Did you guys have a favorite show? What was your, did you have a favorite one? You were like, I loved watching lattes be made or I loved the charcuterie boards or I loved yoga or I loved shopping. I loved vintage shopping. If you guys had a favorite one, I am really, really curious to know, see if it aligns. I honestly don't know if I could pick one. I loved all of them so much. Um, they were all so unique in their own special ways. Each time having a guest and meeting the experts has been a lot, a lot of fun. It seems like you guys enjoyed the shopping. That was a good one. Loved yoga, yoga and lattes, shopping. Oh, you guys like clothes, huh? <laughs> Me too. Um, yeah, it looks like you guys just really enjoyed each of them and that makes me so happy. Each of these shows has been really near and dear to my heart. Um, again, my name is Sid, Sydney or Sidion. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I stream all sorts of stuff, but I've had the wonderful pleasure of hanging out and doing these IRL streams with Volkswagen. So I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Volkswagen and the Taos SUV, which we have here featured in the black. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to the whole team for allowing us to be able to do this. Volkswagen for making this happen. We got to explore such beautiful places in LA. Um, something that I would not have had the opportunity to do if it weren't for them. So a huge thank you to them. Um, I'm really, really in glad, glad that you guys enjoyed the show and I enjoyed this so much. I want to say another huge thank you to Shosei on Japanese Tea House and Friendship Garden where we are today. Thank you for allowing us to use this space. It's absolutely beautiful. If you guys were wondering where we are, that's where we are. If you, this is something you want to add on to your list of places in LA to visit, a huge thank you to them for allowing us to be here today. And lastly, I want to say thank you to Chat. Chat, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. It's been absolutely incredible. I could not have done this without you guys either. And I hope that you learned some ways to chill or thought more about how you enjoy trends and you like trend setting or you thought about staying on top of your game and lastly, relaxing, recharging, chilling. I, I hope that you got to explore these themes in yourself as I did with myself. So thank you guys so much. It's been such a pleasure. And again, this is such a bittersweet end, but I hope that you all enjoyed and thank you for being here and hanging out with us. And I wanna say a huge thank you to all the experts and all the guides who were here with us throughout the show as well. We got to learn a lot of really amazing new things. So thanks chat. It's been so much fun. I love seeing all the hearts. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you for hanging out with me through the series. Happy holidays, enjoy your breaks, find some ways to relax. I encourage you, I will be doing the same. <laughs> Thank you again so much. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed. <laughs> Someone said, can we get one more Rachel check? She's standing over there. She's in her, <laughs> we're gonna say our last goodbyes to our friend Rachel who hung out through the cold and through the rain and through all the things. <laughs> You guys are very sweet for checking on her once again. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel, for hanging out. <laughs> happy holidays, happy holidays. And that was our last episode. Can you believe it? There were so many amazing experiences. Thank you so much for joining me. And best of all, we got to experience the city in the Volkswagen Taos. I can't wait to see where the show goes next and who's behind the wheel. Until then, I've been your host, Sidion, and thank you for being a part of this journey.